my name is Benz. I am 42 years old and I am addicted to chili. Welcome back to the Houseboat Thai kitchen. Uh, it's getting cold here in the Netherlands and it's kind of good weather to spend your time inside and watching the Korean series actually. That's what I have been doing for the last weekend and now I am really craving for the kimchi but the kimchi that I'm gonna make today is gonna be in my version which is gonna be super spicy so first we're gonna start from uh, cutting the Chinese cabbage <laughs> To leave it like that for one hour so in the meantime we have to cut other vegetables <laughs> use this instead of the Asian pear okay and next um, this gluten flowers so we're gonna mix this with the uh, water in the pot okay this is mixed well together so I will put it on the stove use the low fire and keep stirring this is good so we are going to add sugar in there okay now the flour and sugar mix well together so we have to let it cool down okay in the meantime I am going to use the food processor to uh, blend the rest of the ingredient that we can gonna make the sauce so start with garlic ginger pear onions and the uh, red chili and we have to add uh, a bit of water in there just try it one cup first and then blend it you blend it until it's, they are super fine like this so this is good okay after that we gonna Mix this with gochugaru or Korean uh, red chili flakes here and this is optional this is a Thai hot chili flakes my mom made this so if you don't like it spicy then skip this we add the flour that we let this cool down then we mix them together add some fish sauce optional ingredient is uh, anchovy okay. 
you can also use a dry trim or dry squid but I don't have them today so I will use anchovy instead okay I think now this is good this is mixed well together so I will add carrot daikon It should be just a little bit salty. The kimchi sauce that we just need in here. You can use your hand if you want to. So this is good. I am going to put this in the our uh, container because today the cabbage that I have is quite small. So I have a lot of uh, sauce left over. So it's okay. I will cut uh, the cucumber and we can have uh, cucumber kimchi as well. I will clean the container first with the hot water. In. and next use the plastic wrap make sure the air is not get inside close the lid So you can put this in the refrigerator for two days and then you can eat it. But since I live on the boat, so we have the storage room below here and it is quite cool. So I'm going to put this uh, in my storage room for two days and we will see after two days what else I'm going to make with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.